You are watching Big Bunker Boy News. Welcome to Big Bonker Boy News, episode 38. Now this one's going to be pretty short, and I mean it, because it's past midnight, and I still need to pack my bags for um for the Oklahoma trip. I, was, I meant to make this sooner, but I kept on forgetting about it. But I want to go over some things before um, I go to Oklahoma City tomorrow. So first off, um, I'm still doing the siren test. I'm going to be filming a well-in... WPS 29,000, or I, I believe it's a, it's from the 29 series. There's one close to the hotel, and they, te um, they test the entire system every Saturday at 12. So I'm still doing that, um, especially because um, this month has been a bunch of failures for siren tests. Like, um, I tried to film the SRN down in Rolla, but it was removed and replaced by 2001-130. Then I went over to Salem... To try to film their 2T22. But apparently their test time was wrong. I thought it was 1.30pm. But it was like 10am or something. Siren tests have not been successful this month. But you know at least. I got my own siren now. Another thing is. We're going to be driving there. So yeah no more flights. For the rest of the year I believe. Because all the other places we're going to be going to. We're going to drive there. So it's going to be a return to forum. Um, you you like you know the closest we got to that was um, the um, the Illinois arc, but it wasn't exactly a return to forum because we did take a train. So um, yeah, we took a train back home. So it wasn't a car ride there and a car ride back like um, like the first three big arcs were. And then the last thing for the arc. Um, I'm going to be meeting two tower enthusiasts, and we're going to be collaborating in a YouTube video. Now, I don't want to reveal who they are, because it's a little surprise, you know. But I'm going to say one of them is a pretty popular beacon collector. You can probably connect the dots, because he lives in Oklahoma, and he wants to meet up. I'm going to be in Oklahoma from the 17th to the 18th. Well, I mean... Technically, technically the 17th to the 19th, but on the 19th we leave. We're only staying there for a weekend. So, only three days to make this. And one more thing before I'm done with the whole Oklahoma arc. The hotel we're staying at has a washer. Uh, don't know what type, um, but hopefully it's a direct drive or one of them V&W commercial belt drives. Or commercial V&W belt drives that um, set it out of order. Who knows what it could be. Hopefully it's not a front loader. Um, despite them being the superior washers, uh, they're just kind of boring, you know. They're, I find them kind of boring because top loaders, you know, top loaders are actually cool to see. So I'm I'm hoping that's going to be either a direct drive, a roper direct drive, maybe. But those are a little rare. Or a Whirlpool V&W commercial washer. You know, one of those modern HE commercial washers with the black straight vein agitator. And even though I, even though that was supposed to be the one more thing, I still have one more thing, but I promise this time this is going to be the last thing. We are taking the same path we um we used to leave Oklahoma City back when I went to <coughs> back when I went to Texas in 2021. Well, one, the path I went to to go and to leave Texas. So we're going through Springfield, Joplin, and all the small towns in Oklahoma City. I mean, Oklahoma. Crap. Okay, that is the tr truly the last thing for the Oklahoma arc. Now I got more news. So first off, um, the um, the second, the um, the second. Come on, Big LT, spit it out. The the second South Dakota arc. Um, it we were, we were supposed to go to South Dakota right after um, Oklahoma, but there there might be some things that are changing. Um, the it's not the trip's not being canceled; it's just being po postponed for reasons. First off, it's kind of hard to find a place to stay at. We want to stay at a cabin, but since um, school is ending and summer is coming, lots of cabins are being booked. Pretty sure the cabins in Wall, South Dakota, you know, the, the place that had the water tower with the the um the strobe and threw in a millimeter. 
I'm pretty sure that's all booked up, so we can't go there, sadly. And um, my sister, uh, she might have to take sa- I mean, she might have to take summer school again for the third time because of algebra. I'm not kidding when I say algebra is a pain in the ass. I can't believe I even passed that class twice. If she takes summer school, she only has she can only miss two days because that's how our summer school stuff works. So we don't know if we can really schedule anything for um for the end of May or really June. So it might not happen until July, uh, which is a little disappointment. But at least it's not being canceled like you know others. Well, I mean not, I mean I wouldn't really say that. Okay, no, what am I talking about? The Nashville, the Na- um the Tennessee arc. We we're supposed to go to Nashville, Tennessee in 2021, but that shit was canceled. Because of time restrictions, because of summer school, I was forced into to uh, driver's ed. So yeah, Oklahoma arc and the second South Dakota arc is probably not going to be a back to back thing. And I also got more news, but this is not exactly set in stone because um, things might change. So don't think this is set in stone because it really isn't as of now. But I might have to go to Arkansas, which is the state below me. The reason why is because I have a cat, and uh, she 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 does not she does not like being alone. When we're when we're um, when we're gone, or if she thinks that we're all gone, she'll she'll start crying out for somebody. There'll be multiple mornings where I'll be home alone, still asleep, and my cat will think that everybody's gone because my sister is at school and my parents are at work. So we thought it was a good idea to try to get a kitten. So we're going to try to get a Scottish Fold kitten from some breeder down in Arkansas. And yes, we're getting it from a breeder because the cat distribution system has yet to choose me. All the stray cats in my area run away from me when I when I get like like when I get like nine feet close to them. I can't get cl- that close to them. They're they're that scared. So we're going to try to get a kitten. And we're also getting a little puppy for um my grand my grandma wanted to give us a puppy. So we're going to have two dogs um, sometime after. I mean, it's going to be right after we get home from uh, Oklahoma. It's going to be that Wednesday. So we're probably going to um, we're probably going to see an Arkansas arc, which means we're going to have f- not four, but five big arcs for 2024. So that's 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 exciting. Though the thing is, um, I don't like how Arkansas apparently doesn't believe in interstates. There's a lack of interstates down there. I I love interstates. That's where all the cool towers are. But we're going to be, if we if we do go down there, we're probably going to have to drive um, a few country roads. So there's that. Um, Oklahoma arc tomorrow, or I mean, t- technically today is tomorrow because it's past midnight. But tomorrow, you you know, and a possible Arkansas arc. I don't know how good the tower population down there is, but. Um, at least it's not by California. If it's by California, then there's going to be like tiny monopoles with no lighting systems. Obstruction lighting. Oh, I need to sound professional. So that's going to be it for today's Big Bonker Boy News episode. So uh, see you around. See you tomorrow in Oklahoma. You are watching Big Bonker Boy News.